Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a visual picturesque frame to a set of data. So this might be something that might be useful if you wanted to uh, show some data that's kind of enclosed in a frame to kind of make it a little bit more visual, visually appealing. Maybe you have a set of uh, dashboard views in each tab and you want to kind of frame it up to give it some uh, come a, kind of a picturesque type of view. This is actually pretty easy to do so I'll go ahead and show you how to do it in the next tab. So let me go ahead and just copy uh, this table. Let me go ahead and copy this. Control C to copy and then I'm just going to paste it here, control V to paste this table. And I'm going to get rid of this grid line so I can make it a little bit more viewable. So I'll go under view and uncheck the grid lines and so we've got that. Let me go ahead and increase the size here a little bit too. And what I want to do basically, let me go ahead and oh, copy one more thing. Let me copy this text. This is a text image or I can just show you how to add a text in there. We can just go under insert, insert a text box and I'll just call this uh, monthly sales monthly sales and then go ahead and center that and maybe make it bold go double click it to select all control a to select all and just bold it maybe increase the font size all right and so we got kind of that set up oh I want, let me get rid of the borders here I don't need the borders for this so I'll go into format and then for the shape outline I'll select no outline so we just have it there now if I want to create a frame around it all I need to do is insert a shape. So the insert shape, I'm just going to insert a rectangle shape here. And I can just draw it out here and basically draw it out to frame it up a little bit. Whoops, a little bit too far. But let me go and scroll back up. And you notice that it kind of covers up everything. And that's okay. What we want to do is we want to change the shape fill. And we want to have no fill. And for the shape outline, what we want to do is we want to make that black or maybe a gray would be okay, a dark gray. And then give it some effects. So the shape outline, I'm going to give it some weight and maybe make this a six point. And then after that, now we're gonna give it some effects and we're gonna give it a bevel effect. So we go ahead, you can select one of the bevel effects here. And so really a picture frame could be something like that. And I think this first one's probably uh, ideal or, or the second one, this relaxed inset, that might not be too bad. Now I wanna kind of give it some perspective. And so what I can do is select it and give it a shadow effect. So I go into shape effect and go into shadow and let's make the shadow you can select where you want it to come you can have it come from the bottom or from the from the top I like it having come coming from the top and offset to the right so I click on that and now we have our effect right here so let me go ahead and, and kind of scroll down a little bit you can see now we have kind of this frame effect we have a shadow effect to give it some perspective and this is just uh, something to give your data some visual appeal uh, if we didn't like the, the gray color we can change that and maybe make that a black color and so that kind of gives it a little bit more appeal of course the um, the bevel had disappeared so I can kind of go ahead and reset the bevel or maybe give it something a little bit more apparent in the bevel uh, let's see uh, that was a little bit dark so maybe the gray was a little bit better so I can go ahead and just select uh, go ahead and select the, the frame and go back to gray and probably gray kind of gave it a better kind of effect. You can see kind of the grayish whiteness of it and uh, that gave it a more uh, 3D looking effect. Now, of course, with the shadow, it gives it a little bit more perspective. But there's a way that you can kind of frame up uh, your data if you want to kind of give it a little bit more um, more visual appeal for your particular uh, dashboard uh, data or maybe even something to put into a slide deck. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.